Hello again. This is Mark, Sammy, Alex, and Josh with our amazing world of tortoises. This is Alex. I will be your narrator for this video. This video will be on a rather rare tortoise species, commonly referred to as the pancake tortoise. The pancake tortoise is native to southeastern Africa, or more specifically Kenya and Tanzania. This female-male pair is captive bred here in the U.S. The most striking feature about this tortoise is its flat shell. Most tortoise species have very hard dome shells that offer protection against predators. As you can see here in this box turtle, it has a very hard and domed shell. However, the pancake tortoise has a flat, rather soft shell. You can see it's only about an inch and a half thick. And for this reason, the pancake tortoise is referred to as a soft shell tortoise. Basically, the pancake tortoise has sacrificed its armor plating to gain the ability to find safe hiding spots. They are incredibly well adapted for the rocky outcrops called kopjis in their native land. Pancakes have enlarged scales on their legs, which, with points that project both downward and outward. When a tortoise is in its favorite crevice, it can rotate its legs outwards, and in this position, it is virtually impossible to remove the tortoise from this spot. The shell of a pancake tortoise is very flexible and can be bent and depressed with only mild pressure. This pliability lets the tortoise squeeze into very tight openings. The bones that underlie the most tortoise shells are solid, with very little space between the individual bones. However, in the pancake tortoise, these bones have many openings or fenestrations in them, which gives the shell its flexibility. Also, the pancake tortoise has less bones, and less bones means a lighter animal. So pancake tortoises can move more quickly than a tortoise with a thick shell. It is quite possible that they are the fastest tortoises in the world. Like most tortoise species, pancakes need sunlight, natural if possible. They eat dry grasses and vegetation. A treat of dark leafy lettuces, squash, carrots, and melons once in a while is nice. Pancakes seem to get most of their water from the foods they eat, a survival trait in their natural environment. In captivity, a water bowl can be, can be provided although they rarely use it. A once-in-a-while monthly soak in warm water can also be beneficial. To tell the males from the females, you need to inspect the bottom of the shell or plastron. Look at the bottom plastron by the tail. There is what looks like a V. On females, this V is narrow. This is the female here. And on males, the V is spread wider. That's the male, right here. Also, males have larger, thicker tails, and females have long, thin tails. Females not sticking her tail out. We can't see the female's tail, but you can kind of see the male. His tail is really big under there. Females also tend to be larger than the males when they're full grown. Pancakes can breed in captivity rather easily. Hope you enjoyed this video on the pancake tortoise.